So hi everyone, welcome back to Data Science in Your Pocket after a very long time. Recently, DeepSeek has released a bomb of a research paper that is MHC, which is all over the social media that is Manifold Constraint Hyperconnection. This is related to an architecture of LLMs which will help it improve it. So this is not your another LLM that they are releasing, but a very important architectural improvement into residual connections, if you know. So before we jump on to the details, let's see this diagram, which is very important to understand the change that they've brought in. So if you have been in the field of deep learning and artificial intelligence in the core, you must be knowing about residual connections. So basically what happens from the previous output, you're adding the same output to the next layer as well, so that you don't lose out on the information. What happens when you are building a very deep network? In that case, the model may start losing information. So in that case, what you do from the previous layer, you're adding as it is the output. Now there's another thing called as hyper connection. In case of residual connection, it, it's quite constant, right? You're not adding much. So in case of hyper connection, you're adding an entire network, as you can see on the right hand side, pre mapping, post mapping is happening, multiple functions are getting added. Hence, different variants of the previous layer are getting added. So in the first case, you're adding just one variant. In the second case, from the previous layer, you're adding multiple variants, different varieties, so that it becomes more energetic, it, it has more information. Now what happens is, once you're using hyper connections, the training becomes quite volatile because you're adding multiple, very variety of previous outputs, right? You can see, in the first it was quite constant. You're just adding one layer and one transformation will happen to the previous output and it will get added here. In case of hyper connection, you are maintaining multiple copies of the XI, as you can see the previous one, and you're adding multiple transformation to it. So if here it was, we are adding some constant C, uh, for example, XI plus C, in case of hyper connection, you would be generating multiple copies, XI plus C, XI minus C, X into C, X divided by C, different varieties of copies of X are getting generated and then added to the next layer to capture information in more detail but that makes the training more volatile. So what happens in case of manifold constraint HC, that is manifold constant hyperconnection, you are adding multiple copies. You are not changing that, but you are also constraining it. So you are not letting it run away. So this is something called as exploding gradient, you remember? So you clip the output, something similar is happening here. You are not clipping it, but you are making sure that the information that is getting passed remains constant. So let's, I think now this is the brief about the paper. Let's jump on to understand it in more detail. DeepSeq MHC, Manifold Constant Hyperconnections, New Architecture for LLMs, Deeper Layers, Faster Training, Stable Flow and Scalable. Why deep LLMs struggle? They have hundreds of layers, right? Information decay happens. So what information you captured in the first layer might not reach to the hundredth layer, right? Uh, quite possible. Training failure instability at scale happens. Now the foundation is a residual connection. So basically most of the transformers uses residual connections. So what does it do? As you can see on the screen itself, a photo from Atripacha, thank you so much. So you can see that the previous output, the output from the previous layer is getting added to the next layer. So you are not allowing the network to forget the previous information too. It refines, doesn't replace, stabilizes training and identity shortcut. Why standard residuals aren't enough? They are single stream limits. One part, I think limited information is flowing, restricted sharing is happening, layers can't reuse it and scaling bottleneck can't grow efficiently. Just think about how does the network become when you're passing every other information. So it, it's quite constant, limited information is passing now. So to uh, challenge that enters hyperconnection, multi-stream architectures, multi-lane highway analogy, multiple streams, parallel information pass. So as I mentioned, multiple copies of the previous output are maintained and different variants are generated. Multiplication, subtraction, different constants are getting used. Let's not jump into that. And then they are getting added to the next layer. Mixture and interaction happens and better performance. It is it just seen that the model strain well on that. Why have a connection break at scale? But events you are generating a very deep network, signal distortion happen when you are changing so much, when you are bring so much volatility in the previous output or input, what happens is that signal distortions happen, gradient issues unstable during the propagation and training failure happens. Loss spikes are there and collapse runs are there. Core observation, I think the key insight, unconstrained, uh, why this is happening? Because unconstrained mixing is happening. At any scale you're mixing it, it might be the case that the previous output after transformation, previous input that we're adding to the next layer, 
becomes very very big so in that case it is hijacking the entire update instable inevitable and need guard rails basically it needs clipping it needs some constraints this is where mhc comes in it has guard rails included in it constraint mixing you are still mixing it you are still doing uh, xi plus a x, xi into a xi divided by a but here you are making sure that the final output that is coming out is constrained it's within limits so that it does not explode or decay total information is constant no amplification no destruction and safe at scale it's, it's very similar to uh, clipping the concept is similar but the way it is doing is little different normalization is getting used here water distribution i think it's, it's a example that it, uh, we are giving here four glasses of water assume that you can pour from one glass to another glass to do any sort of calculations but the amount of water remains the same so that is the upper and the lower bound remains the same for the addition that is happening what the experiment shows i think proven results i think smoother training happens lower loss and better benchmarks training comparison i think when you are doing unconstrained hyper connections it is unstable while when you are using mhc it's stable and effective why this paper matters i think it's an architectural innovation for sure connection matters how layers connect how layers performs rethinking residuals i think it's an improvement for residual connections that are getting used in llms and future for scaling for sure final takeaway i think hyper connections are increased power but remove safety because it can go to any constraint right it can go to any length it can scale from 0 to 100 1000 you want some clipping right mhc solution restores safety without losing the power and future ai scale is architectural discipline into compute plus data so this is what uh, deep seek has released i have tried to explain in simple terms do read out the paper it's very interesting they are going into core architecture rather than releasing elements that is quite great and i hope you get a chance to read the paper too thank you so much